To do a Western, first of all, is an amazing opportunity. When you do a Western and it's on IMAX, then you're like, that's the dream. You've got characters that are larger than life. you got landscape that's larger than life. The only way to really experience that is to put the audience in an immersive experience and surround them with a screen that's rich and vibrant. If you're gonna film the movie, it's gonna be presented that way. You gotta understand your lenses, understand your landscape. Think back in the days where John Ford made movies, you had those big scope shots, those big beautiful landscapes. That represents freedom, that represents the West, that represents the frontier. When you can see that in IMAX, you take the sound design of the horses and the guns and the West and the wind, and you put that in front of an audience. That allows you to really feel that space, to really feel like you're a part of that world. When you have the opportunity to present your film in IMAX, present a Western in IMAX, it makes me as a filmmaker feel like a kid again. It makes me feel the wonderment and the possibilities of what cinema could do. People want to feel something. People want to go and have a real experience. People walk away saying, I was fun. I want to do it again. That's what it's about. You can fall in love, you can be scared, but it has to be something that moves you. And I think that that's part of what the IMAX format has always done. Hey, Vale here. Like me, are you a movie lover? Well, a list has been released of the top 100 films of the 21st century, and we have cut it down to give you the top 10 films as selected by 177 film critics from around the world. At number 10, No Country for All Men by Joe and Ethan Cohen from 2007. At number 9, A Separation by Asghar Farahadi from 2011. Number 8, Yi Yi, A One and uh, A Two by Edward Yang from 2000. Number 7, The Tree of Life by Terence Malik from 2011. Number 6, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind by Michael Gondry from 2004. Number 5, Boyhood by Richard Linklater from 2014. Number Number four, Spirited Away uh, by Ayao Mikayadzi from 2001. Number three, There Will Be Blood by Paul Thomas Anderson from 2007. Number two, In the Mood for Love by Wong Karvai from 2000. And number one, Malhalan Drive by David Lynch from 2001. Do you agree with this list? How many of these films have you seen? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you haven't already done it, to subscribe to our channel for all the latest trailer releases. Bye-bye.